Welcome back, I'm Tedward. We just got out of the FC RX-7 and now we're gonna go drive one of the most beautiful cars ever made, the FD RX-7. That's Fenton of the Zygreen channel. He's gonna go out in this one. And we're gonna take this 94 RX-7 with its 1300 cc dual rotor Wankel engine. It's twin turbo and originally these were sequential turbos. He's changed it to parallel. So that means instead of boost coming in early at about 15 to 1800 rpm and then building again for the second turbo these are just basically a solid twin turbo setup anyway this thing is absolutely gorgeous i've been in love with these for a really long time and i'm really excited to get behind the wheel of it he's got jrz suspension we're on te37s and we've got re71 r's he's done solid bushings, so the car should feel pretty good and he's got these really impressive Recaros. So let's jump in. Man, I do love that door handle. That is the coolest thing ever. Oh, Mazda, Mazda, Mazda. You really knew what you were doing back in the day. That is a really tight little shifter for sure. Let's pop this up. stuff. This feels incredible. So this shifter, these kind of shifters always make me nervous because this is like really tight. It's it's great rifle bolt action stuff, but it's a very short shifter. So I want to get a little familiar with that. Um, pedal placement's interesting. Feels good. The, my knees are a bit high because of these Recaros, I think. So I may need to stop and adjust that in a bit, but I think I'm in a good spot right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is happening with that event or that Murcielago? That was something else. <laughs> this thing is ludicrous. I think I would need to get a little bit of seat time in this to be really used to it. that he's been so liberal with us going out and using this car because it wants to rip the rear end away. I'd be nervous tossing keys to somebody I didn't know. Let's pull off here. 
here for a quick second. I just want to get a feel for this seat. Maybe I can go back a little bit more. end of this car is so plant the car feels incredibly neutral and the center of gravity is outrageously low I'm really thankful for these Recaro seats right now because we are actually doing some work around these corners and it's keeping me in place without throwing up my back brakes feel lovely they're not like outrageous on the first initial bite they don't throw you through the windshield you got to dig for them a little bit but they feel natural they feel like a typical Japanese car of the 90s for, for those brakes go nice and slow over this because we don't want to tear anything off the front of the car just to coat those tires in water before you need the boost. <laughs> the car feels a little low in terms of just suspension ride height, but it is still coping pretty well over the junky stuff in these JRZs are damping well. They are not shattering my teeth out, but they're also not allowing for any unsavory moments to happen. Oh, the pops out of this thing, jeez. Now I'm bonding. Mazda friend. today and I'm into it I get it I don't know that I have the the stamina and wherewithal for dealing with repairs and such but man oh man I get why people do it I get why people put themselves through that This is a fast, this is a fast car. This is like old school boost too. It just, it's not there and then boom, there it is. Which means you gotta be very aware mid throttle at certain RPMs that you don't accidentally overpower the rear. Oh, look at the view of the ocean out there. What a day. Southern California is incredible. A little bouncy here. We don't need to hurt the car. This thing would be king of the toge, man. All right, we'll go nice and slow for our cyclist over here. Jeez. I knew I was gonna like the RX-7. I didn't think I was gonna love it. Like, I, I think I love this car. All right, let's turn around, go up the hill, windows down. Great 
great turning radius. Bouncy. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bugging Bronco on occasion just because of the road surfaces and my poor throttle input taking off on a first, but... <laughs> this car it's easy to dip into that boost and be like oh let's rock and roll you've got to temper yourself a bit
bezel off the radio. That's good. That says we have torque. find a group of hyper cars along the way. Absolutely crazy. Wow, what a lineup. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, what? oh come on, launch this thing. <laughs>